Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, go ahead and subscribe down below. Anyways, today I am going to pierce my helix on this side. And if you're wondering why I'm not going to a professional, because Claire's is the only professionals around here. And yeah, I'm not going there. Anyways, well actually, there is a tattoo shop that's like in an alleyway in a town that's near me. But that probably doesn't really sound safe either. Um, yeah. And also, I had pierced my nose last year. So, you can call me professional. Um, but yeah, I actually filmed this. It is on my channel. You just go to like the home page. It should be like the first video up there. And, you know, hit that subscribe button while you're at it. And, yeah, if you're coming from that video and want to see how this looks, Pretty nice, actually. That is what it looks like. By the way, I had no infections with this. I did everything perfect. And yeah, I'm gonna use the same technique for my ear. And I'm gonna show you guys all the materials that I will be using. Yeah, and go over this step by step. Enjoy. So here are the materials I'm going to be using. I have gloves, and I also washed my hands before I did this. And I have some Vaseline to lubricate the needle. And also, here are some needles that I have. Already sterilized. These are 16 gauge. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, um, they are 16 gauge because, like I said, Claire's like the only place around here. And I like to look at the jewelry to see if it's like what it is because sometimes online it will be different. And I want to see like the diameter and stuff if I get a hoop. And most of Claire's is Helix and Cardioid jewelry are 16 gauge so that is why and this is the ring that I'm planning on using but I have like a backup I have this normal earring stud now don't worry because I'm gonna like put these in rubbing alcohol so I have right here just gonna let it soak in the cap. And I have a Sharpie to mark my ear. And I have some Q tips for the rubbing alcohol to put on it. And for after, I do have Claire's ear care solution to like clean my ears and the jewelry. And then I am going to be using ice to numb my ear because I did the same thing for my nose and it worked perfectly like ice and Vaseline was really good on my nose so I hope it'll be also good for my ear also I'm going to be listening to music while I do this so if you see me like singing and dancing and everything yeah I'm probably gonna like mute this so I don't get copyright. But yeah, enjoy! Also, the new Toronto Pilot songs are amazing. That's all I have to say.
I did it. And by the way, this is just a temporary ring until it heals, I guess. Not really heals, but until I can get the other one in. Because, like I said, well, like I showed, um, that ring does not want to fit in the needle. So this is just temporary. It's good. And I'm just going to clean it with this ear solution. I'm not going to touch it at all because I can already tell it's already swelling. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, leave a thumbs up. There's water all over the floor now from the ice. That's cool. Um, yeah. Subscribe. Bye.